For this year's Freeze Live, me and eight artists based in the United Kingdom developed a temporary institute, the Institute of Melodic Healing. This was really to promote community, promote ideas of healing and coming together, but also to really question the idea of what is performance and live art when bodies and movement are largely regulated. I was conducting some research and came across this beautiful sentence by Stuart Hall that talked about sonic bodies. It really led me to the work of Denzel Forrester, a kind of key artist in the 1980s in Britain. It represents a moment when bodies could come together intimately enjoying music and sound and community. The duration of live is limited to 111 hours. And this came out of the research of one of the artists, Harun Mirsa, who's been doing scientific research into a specific frequency, which is 111 hertz. And it's shown to have different kind of physiological properties, healing properties, if you will. Many artists have tackled this question of what is performance art or live art now, and some have decentered the body. For example, Anthea Hamilton introduced commercially made black mannequins that act like proxies, proxies for bodies. We also have a very special performance by Cecile B. Evans. It's a kind of experimental dress rehearsal. What it does, it inverses the process of making and presenting, where rehearsal is kind of a fundamental key element of performance and live art. I'm very excited to have artists such as Mandy El Sai and Zaidi Shah and Benito Mayo uh, Vallejo present to do live performance. Zaidi's working with a great performance artist, Jia Yu, who's, who they've worked with in the past, and they're doing live events in the space. Mandy has brought in four professional dancers to create a new performance on this floor painting, which she's developed specifically for the space. When thinking about how to keep audiences safe, we have a lot of content online. Alvaro Barrington, working with artists in New York and in London, doing DJ sets, comedy sets, and live performances. Uh, it's the Institute of Melodic Healing. We've invited eight artists to think through sound and the body, to promote ways of healing, to gather the community, to think about how institutions should be operating in the present.